Uh, my name is Injun, and uh, I am a sound engineering intern from Houston, Texas. Um, when I first heard about this mix master class, I thought it was uh, really out of the question. Uh, you know, thinking about spending money and time to just come here, you know, all the way to LA or to Corona, mm -hmm. um, and to you know learn about things that I thought I already knew, mm -hmm. and thought that I. I could just learn by watching YouTube videos. You know, it was just not, you know, realistic for me. So um, I never thought about, you know, coming to this class at all. And one day, um, and I was mixing a mix that I had to do for the for the wor workshop the competition. And uh, you know, I opened the session, and you know, I was I was shocked. You know, it was about 70 tracks. And um, I didn't know where to begin, you know. You know, I just threw up some faders, you know, and just put EQ here and there, and you know, put compressors on vocals, you know, all the things that, you know, the school taught me and and what they teach me in the, on YouTube videos, you know. Um, put high pass filters on all tracks except for bass and the kick, you know. Put compressor on vocals to make it, you know, right in your face, and you know, add some reverb for space, you know. That's that's so all I really did, and I did it, you know, not knowing, you know, why, you know, how that it would affect the mix, you know, and when to use it, you know, I didn't understand any of that. So at the end of the day, when I heard the mix, it was horrible, you know. It's kind of shock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it was a lot better when all these processings mm -hmm. that I put on there were bypassed, you know. So I was devastated, you know, listening mm -hmm. to this and listening to everything that was bypassed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I thought, you know, I I need to do something about this, you know. I All I know about, you know, mixing is what they taught me on YouTube, you know. They're saying, you know, if you do this, this will make you sound better. This will make the, sound, the mix sound better, you know. Mm -hmm. That's all I heard and that's all I knew. And uh, I thought I had to do something about this. And... That's when I decided to come to this mix master class, and um, <clears throat> before coming here, uh, I had a lot of expectations for this, for this class. You know? uh, what I had hoped for was um, was uh, you know to find direction and to find you know the ways of how I should approach a mix, mm -hmm. and you know. <clears throat> And when I got here, that's exactly what I learned. And uh, even beyond that, you know, even beyond what I hope for, uh, you know, not only did I, you know, learn how to mix, how to approach a mix, you know, how to do all these processings, you know, now understanding all the compression, EQ, gating, mm -hmm. but also I built a relationship with a master, mm -hmm. you know, who has been in the industry for 30, you know, almost 30 years now, right? So, uh, you know, that's a huge part for me. And um, I feel like I found direction and found, you know, how I should, you know, start a mix now. You know, even with 60 tracks, 100 tracks, 70 tracks, now I can, you know, kn I know where to start. And that's a huge thing for me. And, uh, you know, um... My definition of a good mix has changed uh, since I got here. Mm -hmm. Before it was just, you know, um, just putting everything, you know, put all the elements in their own own place, and uh, I thought that if I do that, just put them in their own space, that it would sound good. You know, it would sound well blended mm -hmm. because they have their own space. But every time I approach the mix like that. Uh, I felt like all everything was just not blended together. It was just, you know, all just falling apart. And uh, my definition has changed because when uh, I started, you know, to learn about compressing, you know, gating, EQing, and reverb, and all these kind of things, um, I thought that you know this mixing is really not putting them in their own space. But but also, you know, mixing them together, 
and make them balanced so that when people hear the music or hear the mix that you know they won't they won't just pick out you know one element but they'll be able to see the whole picture you know mm -hmm. so that's I think that's the job of an engineer mm -hmm. to have that kind of mix mm -hmm. you know one thing that you know one last thing that I want to say is that you know I felt like there were no shortcuts you know mm -hmm. to becoming a great engineer great uh, you know world-class you know engineer mm -hmm. and I'm not saying that you know this class will make you you know become Al Schmidt you know mm -hmm. <laughs> but in one day yeah in one day <laughs> or in a week you know but um, I felt like you know this this class was kind of acted as a shortcut mm -hmm. you know in becoming a great mix or mixer a great sound engineer and um, I challenge everyone who is watching this video to, you know, come and be a part of this great opportunity.